So following on from the previous video, we're going to set up our time as uh, as being from one cycle will be will be from zero to two pi, and uh, and we we need to keep track of um, of the x direction and we need to keep track of the y direction, um, and and uh, and this uh, suppose time is is at t. Let's say time is somewhere in here at time t. Then um, then then this this distance here is actually a t. And the reason why it's a t is because if you look at the, um, the the whole circumference here is is two pi r, but r in this case is the radius of the circle, which will be a. If you um, if you cut up into into um, don't forget from here to here is two pi. Cut up into uh, two pi equal pieces and then times t, then these two cancel out. So so the distance the distance from here to here is actually a t, uh, but 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 when when you when you when you're trying to create parametric equations, you're you you remember we are trying to keep track of this point here. Let's call it p. Um, we are trying to keep track of a, and we are trying to keep track of x, and we are trying to keep track of y. Well, if this here is a t, then then we need to take away this bit here. Well, this bit here, this bit here is is really this distance here. Which will be, well, if you look at the right angle triangle here, we've got an angle of theta. Remember, we set up our time to represent, um, to, we set up our time so that it coincides with, with the angle. So we can use theta or we can use t. Because one increment of t equals one increment, one increment of the angle. Another increment of t will mean another increment of the angle and so on. We set up our time to be the same as the angle. So 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 here we've got a, a triangle that's like this, t. The angle the angle is t uh, is t. So uh, we are trying to 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 obtain this distance here. We are trying to obtain this distance because later on we can get this a t here. Take away uh, this distance here. That will give us what we want. The distance from from here to here. Well anyway, uh, so so here we've got a right angle triangle here. Where t, the radius of the circle, the radius of the circle is a. So, uh, so now we've got, so, so this length here is really, uh, sine, isn't it? So it's, uh, it's sine the angle, uh, and then, uh, equals, uh, what we're trying to find out, the, the, let's call it x, oh, equal, sine the angle, sine the, the angle, in this case it's the time, would be x over a, so x, so this length here is, a sine t. So uh, so this length here, from here to here, is a sine t. So uh, so because we're interested in in this distance here, remember we are trying to keep track of this this point p as it moves along here. Well, keeping track of this point p, we are interested in this for the time being, the the width here. Well, the width here is the the whole length here, which is a t. And then we've got to take away this bit here, which is uh, a sine t. So that that would then represent our, our x. So as time is moving, as time moves on, um, the the uh, the the x here is given by this. So as time moves on, this bit here is given by x equals a t minus a blah blah here. So so this would be our first part. Now we need to keep track of this y. Well, the y would be um, the y would be would be the radius of the circle. So get the height here, which is a, and then take away take away this length here. Take away take away this length here. Take away sorry take away this height here. Okay. So well here you've got a triangle here where this is t, and the the radius of the circle is a. So this is a. Now we want to work out then let's yeah, we, we want to work out this this uh, this height. So uh, that would be cos. That would be cos. So cos the angle. Cos in this case the angle is the time uh, equals x over a. So x equals um, a cos t. So so this length here, this bit here, is a cos t. But we we are trying to keep track of this height here. Well, the height will be the radius. Take away this bit here, so so y would be 
the radius of a circle take away um, a cos t. So, uh, so your your parametric equations will be will be uh, these here, okay? For for t being greater than greater or equal to zero. So, if you punch this into a graphic uh, calculator, it will actually draw out this cycloid, okay?